Number 11 then from paper 2 of the 2018 New Hire Maths. Here we go, it's the exponential equation question, the growth and decay question. Six marks here. This is meant to model a supermarket queue. A supermarket has been investigating how long customers have to wait at the checkout. During any half hour period, the percentage P percent, now notice P percent, that means P is the numerical part of the percentage, who wait for less than T minutes can be modelled by this. First part, if 50% of customers wait for less than three minutes, what's the value of K? If 50%, in other words, when T is three, P should be 50. E to the, and T is three, E to the three K. So I suppose that'll be the first mark for putting that in. Now, the way this should work would be, the percentage should really start at zero, because that'd be when T was as small as possible, because nobody's going to get served within a second, and gradually rise up to 100 after a certain amount of time. So you can see that this exponential part then should start at one and fall away to zero. You don't need to do this, I'm just mentioning it. So that means it starts at one, because that would be zero and falls away. So you're expecting this to be a negative power, this portion in here. But anyway, you don't need to do that. Just solve that for this now, you've only got one unknown. So start getting rid of all the bits. Take the 100 across and divide. Well, that means you've got 50 over 100 is a half. I'm just writing the other side. So one minus e to the three k must equal a half. Right, I'm gonna take it back again. Take this over here e to the 3k, take the half over and subtract, so e to the 3k is a half. Now you can use logs, put ln on both sides and do stuff with that if you like. I'm just going to use the inverse immediately to say 3k is ln of a half, so k is going to be ln of a half divided by 3, and then I'm just going to press the buttons. And when you do that, don't be surprised that you get a negative, because it should be, it should be a falling function there. Negative 2, 3, 1, 0, 4, and so on. It doesn't say how much to round it off, but usually with exponentials you don't round it off too much. So negative 0 0.231 should do. Then part B. Calculate the percentage of customers who wait five minutes or longer. Well, that's the other way around. Well, the percentages add up to 100. So that's equivalent to saying what percentage of customers wait for less than five minutes. And then the one you want will be those that are left over after that. So less than five minutes. I'm actually working out the percentage this time. So the formula is 100 times 1 minus e to the power. But this time I'm putting a 5 in. So it'll be negative 0 0.231 times 5. Now that's just a piece of arithmetic, so let's just press the buttons. And when you do that, you get this, you get 68.494 and so on, so I think I'll call that 68.5. But remember, that represents the percentage that wait for less than 5 minutes which means that the percentage you want, the percentage for more than five minutes, or more than or equal to five minutes, will be 100 minus that. So it'll be the 31.5%. But P stood for the number of percent. So I'll just finish it off with 31.5% wait five minutes or 